We're going to start this job by putting our window up. Now that we have the window up, let's go ahead and start working on our door panel. Now on the inside of our door panel, we're going to start with our door pull area. I'm going to use a small pick. I'm going to go ahead and pop this little panel out. There are a couple of Phillips head screws in there. Let's go ahead and remove those. Can go ahead and remove the third Phillips head screw right here. Using a pick, let's go in here, let's pull out this little pad, and we want to get to this little Phillips head screw in here. Going to pop out our trim panel right here. Lift this up. Just going to reach to the back side and pinch on the little tab that's going to allow us to remove our speaker wire. Now we're going to start up on this corner here. We're going to hold the door. We're going to start pulling the door panel outward and releasing our plastic pins around the perimeter. On the bottom side of your armrest, there is a panel right here. I'm gonna use a small pick and just kind of pop on in there and pull us down. You can use a small pocket screwdriver to do this if you want. Just pop that up and set it aside. You're gonna find a Phillips head screw right here. Let's go ahead and remove that. And underneath is going to be two connectors. There's one right here, and there's one in front of it here. Let's go ahead and remove those. Now we're going to use a pick, and there is a connector right here, or a tab. Uh, it's a white tab right here, and in the top, there's a little spring tab. So we're using a pick. I'm going to go to that little spring tab, and as you push up on that tab, I'm going to use my index finger on my right hand and push this outward. And as you push that out, it actually releases this connector. Go ahead and separate that. Use the pick to press that tab in there and then grab the connector and pull that out. There we go. Now that we have all of our plastic pins popped, we can go ahead and grab that door panel and we're gonna lift up. Bring that out. Now on the top side of your door handle is going to be these little tabs. I'm going to pop our handle out like so. I'm going to separate that. And pull our door panel off and set that aside. Let's go ahead and disconnect our harness here. I'm just going to press down on this using our pick and pop that out. I'm going to use our trim tool. Go ahead and pop this harness out of the door. Go ahead and pop that out. And at this point here, we're going to go ahead and start to remove our water shield here. I'm going to go on up here and pop this out. Set that aside. Now our water shield is held in place by an adhesive. It could be a foam adhesive. What we want to do is gently tear this away. You want to separate it. Ours is super sticky. You can use a razor blade and you can basically just chase it around and remove this. Now you want to be super careful if you choose the razor blade route and you don't want to cut all this up. You want to try and salvage it the best you can. So gently pull away as you're cutting.
Let's go ahead and pop this button right here. Just gonna use our pick and pry that out. So using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna to loosen and remove this bolt. That's gonna allow us to go on the inside here and be able to pull out our glass track or guide. We're gonna pull that towards us, give us some access to the door handle components and linkage up top. Now that we have that bolt removed, we'll go ahead and grab our glass track. I'm just gonna bring that forward a little bit. I'm gonna look inside here and there is a 10 millimeter bolt right in there we wanna go ahead and get to. I'm gonna loosen that one and remove that. And then over here, we have a 10 millimeter, not right here, we wanna go ahead and loosen and remove as well. And we're gonna come on over here and we need to get to this 10 millimeter nut right here. We're gonna get and loosen that one as well. Let's go ahead and put our socket and extension up in there. So at this point here, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bolt to the back side of the door handle. We'll go ahead and get to our main handle bolt right here. Or a nut and zip this off. On the inside of our door panel we have our lock mechanism right here. It comes down from the key lock cylinder. We're going to pull this plastic clip right here towards the front of the door. That'll snap forward. Then we can go ahead and we can remove this whole unit this unit like so, it snaps out. Now we want to go ahead and slide our lock cylinder cover outward. Slide that off like so. Now we'll go ahead and take our door handle. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull it this way and then lift it out and away. By doing that, you're disconnecting the back linkage here or the actual linkage on the front of the handle. Work this up and pull this out on an angle like so. You wanna go ahead and take your handle, get ready to install it here. You wanna make sure that your gasket is in place here for both sides of your handle. You're gonna take that little notch section, it's gonna fit inside and there's a plastic post in there you need to line that up on. So you're gonna feed this in at an angle, feed that around onto it. Get your back side of the handle in, and then you're going to take your handle and you're going to snap it into place. You feel that snap into place over here. Your handle should be spring loaded at this point. Let's go ahead and get the back section installed. Now we went in on the inside of the door panel and we were able to push on our lock cylinder to make sure it's nice and flush. We want to go ahead and line up our metal brackets here. They're going to fit into the notches. I'm going to insert it and push it forward. So you're going to push that forward. You'll be able to tell because the gap between the thumb piece here and the handle piece will be nice and tight. And a good reference is you could always run over to the passenger side and look at that, how it should look. You're also going to notice that our key lock cylinder does line up. Let's go ahead to the inside and start to secure this again. Let's go ahead and feed this up and in. We're pulling our glass guide channel out of the way. So we can get that bolt back up and in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just snug that nut down and install the nut on our forward mounted handle here. Let's install our lower lock unit here. I'm gonna feed this into that unit. I'm gonna pop that in, snap it in, then we take the collar, we push it forward and lock it in like that. Let's go ahead and grab our glass guide and we're gonna bring that down and inside. That's gonna line up and let's go ahead and put that nut on from the outside. Let's go ahead and install our bolt to hold our glass guide channel. Let's go ahead and snug that down. Let's go ahead and install 
your rubber plug right here. Pop that in. I'm going to go ahead and line up our water shield here. Now, in most cases, that adhesive will still have some sort of tack to it. And just go ahead and press that back into place. Now, for some reason, if it doesn't have any tack left to it, you could simply use some sort of tape. Once that's up in, I'm going to go ahead and install our other upper plug right here. Just going to go ahead and line up our connector right here. Snap that in. And let's go ahead and get our little retainer grommets in place. I'm going to take our door handle. I'm going to line that up behind the door panel itself here. And line that up and just snap it in like that. I'm going to go ahead and hang the top of our door panel on our door sill. Once that drops down into place here, our plastic pins should line up. Now at this point here, once you have your door panel hanging like this here, you wanna make sure that it sits flush. Make sure that your connectors are hanging down. If these are stuck up inside, it can cause this door panel to push out and obviously your door panel won't fit properly. So once these two are loose, let's go ahead and work our way around and we're gonna bump our door panel into place. All of our plastic lock buttons are snapped in. Now it's going to reconnect our connectors to where they were before. Work that harness in. Get that connector lined up, press it in. You have an audible click. Then we have our bulkhead connector right here for this. Line that up, push that in. And then we have our little cam. We push that over snapped it and you'll hear it click into place. Once you have our two connectors in, go ahead and install your Phillips head screw here. Now we're gonna go ahead and install our lower trim. Install your three lower tabs first. And just snap it up into place. Install your door pull screw here. Once that's in there nice and secure, we're gonna go ahead and install our little trim piece here, little tabs on the outside here. Line that up and press that in. Install our trim screws here. And snug those right down. Go ahead and take your trim panel. There's two little tabs on the bottom. We're going to insert that first. Snap that into place. And install our interior mirror cover, or in our case, our speaker. And I connect our speaker connector to the back side. Hit that click into place. Get the bottom of our trim lined up and drop that in. Line that up and snap it on.